Ah, Necrotic, the dark counterpart to Radiant. Two sides of a coin, one uh, wonders, though, if Radiant is to get rid of Undead, does that mean Necrotic came first and Radiant has a means to deal with it? Something to think about. Regardless, associated, uh, of course, with the School of Necromancy, unlike pretty much any other type, um, spells that deal Necrotic damage include Abidazim's Hor Horrid Wilting, Arms of Hadar, Blight, Chill Touch, Circle of Death, Destructive Wave, Innervation, Finger of Death, Forbidden's Harm, Hex, Illusionary Dragon, Inflict Wounds, Life Transference, Negative Energy Flood, Sapping Sting, Shadow Moil, Spirit Guardians, Spirit Shroud, Symbol, Time Ravage, Toll the Dead, and Vampiric Touch. In rare cases, Necrotic Damage is Abjuration and Conjuration, um, even Enchantment Blunts in the case of Hex. Spells like Harm and Inflict Wounds are clearly raw pain in a damaging body by weakening the spirit while Radiant overwhelms the spirit, at least in the flavor text of uh, the abilities. Well, Necrotica is actually described mainly as anti-life energy, um, which can be interpreted a lot of ways. Also in the flavor, it says that like constructs don't really get affected by... Necrotic, but I looked all over and I couldn't really find that many immunities and resistances to Necrotic. Undead, on the other hand, of course, have um, resistances to Necrotic and then some Radiant uh, um, Celestials as well, they're showing how they're used to dealing with that uh, damage, and then it's less effective for creatures that are already dead. Also, um, often flavored as Siphoning Life, um, in the case of Empiric Touch or Life Transference, then you have, um, like, reducing max HP and things like that, or preventing heal, like in the case of Chill Touch or, um, Spirit Shroud and things like that. Necrotic damage is dealt, um, in niche cases by, by um, Beholder's Eye Rays and, and, and then mainly, though, by undead creatures. Um, it, it can do some cool things, again, like I said, reducing mass, ma uh, maximum HP, Shadow Dragon's Breath Weapon turns those reduced to zero by it into shadows, um, like that Finger uh, of, of Death revival aspect. Fallen ASMRs uh, have Necrotic-themed abilities and um, are resistant to Necrotic, of course, as all ASMRs are. When it comes to classes and, and subclasses that have rela relations to Necrotic, we have the Death Domain, Necromancy Wizard, Undead Warlock, Oathbreaker Paladin, Phantom uh, Rogue, and Long Death Monk. All very death-related, of course, no surprise there. So as I mentioned in the Radiant video, while we have physical damage and elemental damage types covered, and then there are niche cases with the mind and then magic, that leaves us with the spiritual. And that's kind of where most people see Radiant and Necrotic coming in as just manipulating the spirit in different ways, damaging it, overwhelming it, reducing it, siphoning from it, so on. Interesting enough, some healing spells like Revivify and Life Transference are considered necromancy, and it might, I honestly think that healing should be necromancy too, because you have like gentle repose, uh, kind of like stopping that death process and manipulating it, I think is really key to, to this as, as a whole. In terms of like how it's related to real life things, uh, there's necrosis, which is where cells die and rot. And the decay aspect of many necromancy spells really work with this is partially why constructs can still take necrotic damage, at least in my mind, because they can still deteriorate. Um, in more, a more modern setting, necromancy being decay, necrosis, and ra radiant damage being radiation works really well. Um, while there can be more spiritual related in a more high fantasy setting. It could be like frostbite where the area begins to die or like a withering plant rotting and discoloring. This explains why uh, undead are resistant to it as they're already past decay and why angels are too um, too pure to be tainted by decay. And uh, again, like sort of that sort of on life and withering uh, sort of it describes where it can be seen as rapid aging, like in the case of time ravage. In terms of flavor, I love necromancy it's oozing with, with flavor of that sort of raw and decay and siphoning are always fun to describe in flavor and it, a really a really unique and cool abilities relate to necrotic which is why it's one of the most fun to use so um i hope that's this video yeah it gave you better insight on, on uh necromancy and necrotic 
and just shot from the deck dungeon. I think I said that wrong, but I'm gonna leave it in. <laughs> Shout out for Dodeca Dungeon, signing out.